Now, you say that Griselda called you when Cocaine Cowboys 2 okay. came out? So when Cocaine Cowboys 2 premiered, it actually premiered in, in Las Vegas at the Palms Theater. I mean, at the Palms Hotel, which was owned by the Maloof brothers at the time, mm -hmm. or the Maloofs, I should say. So inside the Palms Hotel was a theater called the Brendan Theater, which was owned by Mark Cuban. And Mark Cuban's one, the fi financier of Cocaine Cowboys 2, of course. So we had the premiere, the world premiere there during the Cine Vegas Film Festival. So the following week, that was uh, July 2008. So the following week, we had a second premiere in Miami Beach at, uh, on Lincoln Road at the Colony Theater. So Michael Corleone was my special guest, but nobody knew it. I kept it under wraps. So you and Michael Corleone are cool at that point? Yeah, well, we, we had... I mean, did we, he put a range of hit on your life? Yeah, well, see, we had got back cool maybe about a month before Cocaine Cowboy 2 premiered in Las Vegas. You became cool with the guy that tried to have you killed. Yeah, well, he's family, you know. <laughs> okay. Sometimes family have problems, you know. So. Uh, that's some serious problems yeah, there, it, man. Yeah, it is, it is. That's not your typical family problem, it's, it's but really, okay. It's not, but, you know, you forgive and forget. <laughs> All right. And so we got in contact through a, uh, through a mutual friend mm -hmm. a month before the premiere in Las Vegas. So I told him, you know, at the premiere in Miami, I want you to come and be my special guest. You know, let's let the past be the past. So when the, uh, when the, when the film had showed 101 minutes, so when it had showed, a lot of people didn't know Michael, Michael was there because it was a red carpet premiere. And so it was me on a red carpet, Michael, uh, the producer, and you know, a few other people. So, you know, then I had some guys coming from California, New York. So we were all on the red carpet, you know, took pictures together with that. So by that time, though, know, the theater was already filled with the, with, you know, the audience was already filled. So the lights went out and so we came in. And so they didn't know Michael was with me. So after the premiere concluded, I went upstage on stage for a question and answer session. So one guy got up and he said, uh, you know, aren't you afraid that, you know, the godmother and her family, they're gonna come and, you know, kill you for, you know, revealing so much information in this documentary? I said, I have no fear in the world. I said, that's why I'm here with no security. I said, in fact, you know what? You know, the world tries, this attempt to make the Blancos and me into enemies but that could be no further from the truth. And I'm going to dispel that rumor right now. I said, I have a special guest and I want you to meet him. I said, Michael Corleone, stand up. He stood up and they went crazy. Hmm. Okay. They went crazy. So after that, uh, Griselle had called from Medellin and I, I spoke to her. You know, she said, Charlie, I wish you well. Hmm. You know, Thank you for what you did for me. I wish you well. So she had no qualms no about qualms. you doing the no, documentary, no nothing. No qualms. She said she loved the documentary. Okay. She saw the documentary before I did. <laughs> okay. 